Alright, so today we are going to be showing my first preliminary winter forecast. <coughs> Let's just hop straight in with the temperatures. And I do expect a very war or actually slightly below average temperatures through the western Ohio Valley, all the way through the north central and portions of the northwest. And there is a second shade of above average temperatures, which does include Olympia and Seattle. For um, portions of Washington, northern Idaho, and northwestern Montana. <clears throat> so let's move on to the below, slightly below average. This is going to be generally through the mid-Atlantic, through southeastern New England, throughout the southwest portions of the south-southwest, the south-central, and squeezing through the Tennessee Valley up through the east coast. Let's move on to our more below average area. This includes much of the southeast. Now let's move on to the precipitation forecast. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so we are moving on to precipitation. So we do have a slightly below average area through really just where the slightly above average temperatures were. Throughout the western Ohio Valley, through the western Great Lakes, through the north central and portions of uh, the northwest. And then the more below average temperature area extends through much of Oregon, Washington, much of Idaho, much of Mo or Montana, northern Wyoming, northwestern South Dakota, and southwestern North Dakota. We are moving in through the slightly above average region, which extends through the southwest all the way through the Great Lakes. This is because of the nor'easter tracks that are going to get tapped by these regions, and we'll see some nor'easter developing in these regions. Now we're moving on to the more above average region. This, this goes down... <clears throat> from Houston all the way up th through Montpelier. This moves in through the interior northeast, down through the western mid-Atlantic, down through the south. Now, I rarely, rarely use this, but because we are in an El Nino, I do expect a lot of nor'easters forming in through the south, Moving up mid at the mid Atlantic, slamming New England and the Northeast, bringing tons of precipitation. I mean, you're more than likely to see a snowstorm with over one to two feet of snow. They cannot be out of the question. And now let's move on to the storm track where I think where the storms are going to move. So let's see the storm track. So obviously, <coughs> we're going to see the jet stream moving through, pouring in tons of warmth above the jet stream, at least from what this model is saying, at least from what this is saying, or what from my models. These are, this is going to go through the gr Western Great Lakes, all the way through actually South Central, and then up, the, up Northwest. Now let's take a look south of the jet stream. Mm -hmm. We're going to see lows developing off the Pacific jet. And then these will ride through the south, sliding through the southeast, bringing tons of heavy rain, mixed precipitation, and heavy snowfall for possibly as south as northern Florida. <coughs> then they're going to, this is really just a southern clipper. Once it moves through there, then they're going to go through the mid-Atlantic, strengthen into likely nor'easters, and then just slam New England and the northeast. As you can see, the lighter shades of blues are light to moderate snow. The darker blues are heavier snowfall, which extends through New York City all the way up through Canada. But this is really all I have, so make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all with another update.
the second winter forecast is going to be coming out in a couple of weeks. So make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next video.